My name is Mark Jones, I'm COO of Walker Fire in the UK. Our company is a leading provider of fire and security system maintenance in the UK. We work uh, with Sugar via Provident CRM. We use SugarServe and we use SugarCell. Um, we heavily use SugarServe. We use, we use SugarServe for all of our customer inquiries. Um, we detail all of our customer interactions on there. The way we use SugarCell um, is we use it as a, a kind of hub to pull all our sales into one place. So we generate our own sales uh, off the back of engineer service visits. We generate sales um, from office inquiries and we generate sales from, via a, a field-based sales team. We use all three of those channels and pull them together in uh, the opportunities module within Sugar. It's had a profound impact on the way we operate as a business. Um, we, we started particularly with the um, customer relations side of things, so serve. We, we started probably the way that everybody starts and that's we take phone calls, we receive emails, we generate cumbersome Excel sheets, we try and work through them, we monitor, um, we monitor how many customer inquiries we've got by how many unread emails we've got in a mailbox. Not ideal, of course. Um, and since the integration of Sugar, to, I'd probably say not straight away because we've been on a bit of a journey to get it where we, certainly where we have it now. Um, but the place where we have Sugar served now, um, dealing with customer inquiries has, has yeah, had a massive impact. We deal with customers, uh, I, I think, are infinitely better than we used to. Our partnership with Sugar is, I'd say, is very, very good. It's very strong. I think it's obviously very beneficial for us. Um, I do think we can be a difficult customer at times for, for Sugar. Um, it could be, you know, very difficult in the fact that we're, we're, we're always trying to push for, for new levels of whether it be um, customer service. We want to we want to get back to our customers in, you know, a certain time frame, or we want to deal with a, a certain number of customers within, you know, with a with a yeah a, a certain KPI. It, it, there's a lot of things that we drive for in terms of in, in dealing with our customers. I think that leads us to be very demanding of sugar. Um, yeah, hopefully behind closed doors that isn't a negative, but we we definitely we definitely push hard to try and to try and go in the direction we'd like. I think sugar are very very responsive to our requests. Um, it's it's probably one of the key strengths of the platform. I think for us that it's not it's not rigid. There's there's a lot of configuration that you can do um, as a user once you start using modules like Studio and things like that. Um, but even if you don't have people that are super technical within your team, uh, the Sugar uh, team, whether it be Sugar or Providence CRM, obviously who's our partner with Sugar, um, they're very responsive and they, and they help us make the changes we need so we can get to the right place. It's easy to share successes on the serve side. Um, we, we introduced uh, the dashboards regarding customer services um, we looked at things like average resolution time on inquiries. Um, you know, I, I'm, just, I'm not embarrassed to say because from where we came from, I think it's almost you know it was, it was wild where it was at first. We you know we had very high response times, which is is going to be the case for anybody who's not using a CRM who doesn't have you know the information at their fingertips, particularly with the dashboards. I think they're such a useful part of the product, and um, we 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 always strive to get them out there into hours now, which I think is a huge step. Um, they were certainly in days and, and sometimes, you know, metrics above that at first. Um, so I think it's very powerful in the way that you can use the CRM to to bring your uh, to, to to bring response times to your customers right out.